from Mr. Downstairs. I'm here in Hollywood at Amoeba Records. I'm going to be picking out some of my all-time favorite albums that uh, kind of meant something to me in my past and present. So I'm going to take you around and I uh, hope you enjoy. This is Ellie Goulding's first release in the U.S. Um, I chose this. I want you to do something like a, something new. Um, me and my best friend have been following Ellie Goulding since her first show in the U.S. And she's absolutely amazing. We've been to every single one of her shows in the U.S. so far, and every time it's just amazing. So I thought I'd pick Ellie because we love her, and you should too. <laughs> The uh, Metallica Black album. I was obsessed with this for a portion when I was in high school. I just remember every literature project you'd have that had to do with music, I'd always pick a Metallica song. And I thought they were just really rad. And probably because my brother really liked Metallica as well, so I wanted to be cool and be like my older brother. And I was like, he got me into hard rock at a young age. And I just love Metallica. I always will. Yeah. This was the first album that I picked out and went, Mommy, I want this album! Just as I liked the cover and I just fell in love with her and this is like all I listened to. And now it's really funny listening to the lyrics and being like, they're pretty like, they're angry. And I didn't understand what she was talking about though when I was younger. I just loved her voice and the music. So now it's funny hearing it now and thinking like, I can't believe I liked this when I was younger. I was pretty rad. So, oh, that's more set. Love her. After my freshman year of high school, um, I saw them at, I was a vegetarian, I went to this vegetarian music festival and they played and um, I fell in love with them. I got this album immediately and I became a part of their, a part of their um, online street team and I would, the next year at school I went around putting up flyers around all the billboards or like to my friends like, hey, like, check out my chemical romance, they're awesome. And I was like, who is this? Why is this girl handing me this flyer? I don't know you. And then now they're my chemical romance and they're awesome, they're huge and this album is amazing. I've listened to it, I don't even know how many times. Yeah, so it's a little, it's a little piece of my teenage angst right there. I want to do Spice Roll, but I found this greatest hit, so actually now I kind of want to get, I don't know. But, I don't know, you can never go wrong with the Spice Girls. I mean, I remember being in fourth grade and choreographing with my friends like every talent show, a dance to the Spice Girl, like any Spice Girl song. Now it will always be, um, I was always Sporty Spice. And uh, I don't know, I just, you can't go wrong with Spice Girls. This is like an amazing, it's a road trip with your girlfriends, or whatever. And you get everything, you get like kazoo solos, you get saxophone solos, you get songs that fade out, it's good stuff. <laughs> This guy right here. Whoa, this is like a big one. Oh my gosh. Deluxe edition. I'm finding all these beautiful finds here and I'm on my purse. All right, well, I got Jimmy Eat World Beat American. I don't really have a cool story for this. This is just a freaking amazing album. I just, I don't know, it just reminds me of like summer and driving on the PCH. With my, I don't know. This is, this is awesome. If you don't like this, there's something wrong with your ear holes because this is amazing. Everyone should go out and get this and then tell me how it is because I want to hear some of this. Beautiful. Deluxe. Jimmy Rolled. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for watching me take you through Amoeba and uh, show you some of my favorite albums. Uh, keep a lookout for more stuff from Mr. Downstairs. I'm BuzzNet and thank you guys so much from BuzzNet for doing this with me and hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks. <laughs>